band for my legs and a different band for my upper body. Leila, hi! How exciting! Nice to see you! <laughs> Alright, so let's get going. We're going to start warming up, rolling the shoulders. So have your bands ready. Slightly different class today. Hi Laura, welcome. Good, rolling the shoulders. I was looking at different exercises today. So we've got a few different things today for today's class, just to keep it interesting. Same goes with every class. If anything is sore, please don't do it. Work around it. If anything is too difficult, I'll try and give easier options, but always watch your own injuries, please, okay? Rolling the shoulders. Let me know if anything is uncomfortable and we can work around it. Nice. Good. And rolling the shoulders. Very good. Nice big movements. Rolling those shoulders, making sure you're not pinching anything as you're working around. Good. We're going to do our dynamic warm up today. So, following me, just lift your one knee up into your chest and change. Good, we're going to do three each side, alternating, making sure you keep your balance, warming up your balance, your nerves, muscles, joints, everything for the workout. And last time. Good, and grabbing under your shin and under your knee, pulling up. And change. For anything in the class, we'll be doing a plank. Barbara and Nancy, you're welcome to use a chair or rest on a table to do an elevated version. Okay, so please remember that. Last time. Other side. Very nice. You're going to grab your foot. Keep your knees together. Tuck your hips under and reaching up. And change. Tummy pulled in. Keep those knees together. Make sure your hips are tucked in. Reaching up. Good. And last one. You're going to go forwards all the way if you can. Stretching that anterior line and coming up, changing sides and reach. Very nice, good. Crossing right leg over left, hanging down towards the floor. Relax your head, relax your arms. Then opening up, chest open, palms forward and change sides. And change. Remember to open in the middle, lift your chest. Open the palms up so that you're lifting up and crossing over, left over right. Let's go one more each side, right over left, hanging down. And last one, left over right, relaxing down. Good, opening up those legs nice and wide. You're going to slide your, leg, your hands down your right leg. Stick the bottom out, try and get a nice flat back. All the way around to the left and up. And down. Round and up. Nice. Down the legs. Hello, my boy. And up. Good. Down the left. Really try and reach those hands far forward. Good. One more time each side. Down the right leg. Round to the left. Tummy pulled in. Stretch. Now we're going to stay down to the right, bend your front knee, make sure your knee's over your ankle, back leg out straight, if you need to drop it down to the floor, you're welcome to, and we're going to twist, looking up at your hand, reaching up, good, hands on either side of your front leg and stretch that knee, and bend, twist in the other way. Remember, if you need to drop your back knee to the floor, you're welcome to, stretch, one more each side, reach, and stretch, lovely, last time, and stretch, walk your hands round to the left side, bend that left leg, make sure your knees over your ankle, hands on the floor, remember you can drop that back knee down, and let's twist. Good, hands on either side and stretch that leg. Bend, twist to the other way. And stretch, one more each side. Reaching up, look at your hand. Tummy pulled in, stretch that front knee. And last time. 
Well done. Walk your hands round to the middle, hang down in the middle, relax your head. And walk your feet in towards each other. And curling up. One vertebra at a time. Opening up the segments in the back, shoulders down and back, head's the last thing to come up. Right, we're going to start our exercises on the floor today, mixing it up. Today is very much legs and abs, okay? Lots of bum, lots of legs, lots of abs. So, we're going to put your band around your feet. I'm using my slightly lighter band because this is kind of, it's quite a, quite a high intensity exercise. I'm going to show you first. You're going to have your right leg bent and your left leg straight. You're going to keep these legs, you're not alternating. You're going to twist up, then drop the legs down. Lift and twist. So we're lifting the legs up and down as you twist, breathing out. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you only lower the legs as much as you can manage, keeping your back glued to the floor, tummy pulled in. We're staying with the same leg. We're not alternating, breathing out as you twist. Tummy pulled in, stretch. Nice, squeeze, lift your abs in. Twist, shoulder to knee. <sighs> Breathing out as you twist. Lower the legs only as much as you can, keeping those abs glued to the floor. <sighs> For 10 seconds, tummy pulled in, squeeze. We've got five, <sighs> three, two, one. Very nice. Have a little rest, we're gonna change sides. So now you straighten out your right leg, left leg bent, hands and short hands behind your head, and let's go. You're gonna lift and twist, drop, tummy pulled in, squeeze. Make sure you keep the legs in the same position, they're just lowering up and down. Tummy pulled in. If it's too much, you keep the legs bent and you just do the twist. That's it, let's go. 20 seconds left, squeeze. Pull those abs in towards your spine. Your back stays glued to the floor. And squeeze, very nice. We're gonna do a few reps of this. We've got five seconds. Nice. Three, two, and one, well done. Keep the band around your feet. You're gonna stay lying on your back. Hands behind your head, but your head stays on the floor. And we're just gonna lower the feet towards the floor and bringing them up. If you find that taking both feet to the floor, you arch your back, then I want you to do single leg swaps. You can take the band off. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Breathing out, tuck your tailbone in. Slowly lower the legs down, tap the floor. <sighs> Breathing out, only lower as much as you can manage, keeping that back glued to the floor. And have a little scoop up. That's it, very nice. You can just do this part. You can crunch it in. Nice, tummy in. Breathing out, so make sure your stomach is pulled in all the time. And if you wanna just do this crunch, that's perfect. 15. Tummy pulled in. Nice, very good. Squeeze, we've got five seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Well done. Band around your ankles, feet up to the ceiling, legs are straight. So from here, knees pulled up nice and strong. We're going to do opening and closing. So pushing out against the band, try and have your legs straight. Let's go. Lift your tailbone, tummy pulled in. Squeeze. Make sure you don't bring your legs close enough together that you lose tension. Keep pushing. Pull those kneecaps up, tummy pulled in. Pulse. Nice, very good. Squeeze. Awesome, we've got 10 seconds. Very nice, then we're gonna progress this exercise. Three, two, 
one, bend your legs, and you're gonna come up onto your elbows. And now from here, you're gonna open and close the legs. Tummy pulled in, tucking your pelvis under, pull your belly button in. Let's go, out and in, squeeze. We're working the outside of the hips, tummy pulled in. So just playing around with some new exercises. Let's see how we feel. If they're rubbish, you can tell me later and we can drop them, okay? Open to suggestions. Tummy pulled in, lift that tailbone, opening and closing. Like this. That's it. 15 seconds, tummy pulled in. Keep those legs up. Try and rest up on your elbows. Lift your torso. Three, two, one. Very nice. Band around your thighs. Let's move it up. Okay, I'm changing bands. So I'm putting my thick band on. If you want to put a tighter band on for the legs, we're going to have your feet on the floor. We're going to do a pelvic curl and open the knees at the same time. Hands on the floor. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. You're going to lift and open. So we lift up the hips, open the knees at the same time. Keep that pelvis tucked under. Tummy pulled in and squeeze. Very nice. So we lift and open. All the way. Tummy pulled in. As you lift the hips, make sure your belly button is still pulled in and you've got that little tilt. Pulling in even tighter. We've got 15 seconds. Nice. Squeeze. Four, five more. Three, two, one. Very nice. We're going to repeat that little circuit. So put your light band on, on the feet, left leg out straight, right leg bent. We're going to crunch and twist. Let's go. Breathing out. Make sure your belly button is pulled into your spine. This is the first exercise. We're coming back. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. That's it. Very nice. Make sure you're lifting your shoulders and you're twisting shoulder to knee. That's it. We're doing a little twist. Beautiful. Squeeze. Keep on the same leg. Same leg for five more. Three, two, one. Very nice and relax. If you are alternating, then alternate for the next set because you're supposed to try and keep it to the one leg, okay? So if you were alternating, repeat the same thing. Stretch out your right leg, keep your left knee bent. Head and shoulders up, let's go. Breathing out as you twist. Keeping the same leg. However, if you were alternating in the last set, please do the same. Otherwise, you're gonna be unbalanced. Breathing out, tummy pulled in, squeeze. Breathing out, pull that belly button in towards your spine, lift your tailbone. We got 10 seconds. Woo! Five, three, two, one. Well done. Shook that burns. Right, now we're going to go into our little hip curl. Touch the floor only if you can touch the floor with keeping your back glued to the mat. If you just want to do the little hip curl, that's perfect. Okay, let's go. Little curl. Tap down if you can keep your back from arching. All the time, think of pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Breathing out as you pull your knees in. That's perfect. Well done. Nice. Tummy pulled in. Little hip curl. Very good. Squeeze. Tummy pulled in. As you lower those legs, really control the pelvis that you're not arching. Very good. We've got 10 seconds. Lifting up. Three, two, 
and one. Well done. We're going to do those V opening. I'm putting my thick band on. You can keep the other band if you want. And I'm going to put it around my knees. So now I put my tighter band around my thighs. And we're going to do this exercise. I'm just testing it out. It's better around my knees with a solid band. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Tummy pulled in, lift your tailbone. Pushing out. Make sure that you're not, you can move the band but above your knees if you want. That's actually better. I put my band just below my knees. That's it, that's the money shot. And squeeze. Tummy pulled in. That's where I'm feeling it working. So if you adjust your band, sorry guys, I'm playing around with you. And squeeze, we've got 15 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Lift that tailbone. Four, five. Nice, three, two, one, well done. Move the band just above your knees. Put your feet on the floor. We're going to go into our hip curl, pelvic curl with knees open. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. Breathing out. Tummy pulled in. Lift the hips. Open the knees. You can combine the movements. As you lift, open the knees. As long as you're pulling that belly button in, squeeze. Tilt the pelvis, very good. Get a nice squeeze in that butt. Make sure you're going all the way. Awesome, lift. We've got 15 seconds. Squeeze the butt at the top as you open the knees. Good, 14. Three, two, one, well done. Right, we're gonna come into a mountain climber. We're just gonna do one leg. We're taking the knee to your elbow on the one side. If you wanna do this on a chair, you can do an elevated mountain climber where you're in that position. I don't have a chair to show you. But if you're leaning like this, you can do it with the band in that position. Okay, so band on your feet. Come into a plank. Shoulders down and back. We're doing the left leg only. Only bring your left leg out to your knee. So from here, we're going here. One side, let's go in three, two, one. If you wanna do this on a chair, that's absolutely fine. Breathing out as you squeeze. Nice. Shoulders down and back, stay with the one leg. We're gonna do the other leg just now. Very good, squeeze. Tummy pulled in. Shoulders down and back, we've got 10 seconds. Nice. Whew. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done, come lie on your side, band around your ankles. Lying on your side. We're gonna do the other side of all of these just now, okay? We're gonna do the second round the other side. Tummy pulled in, legs out straight. And we're gonna lift this leg up and down. Band is around your ankles. Tummy pulled in. So we literally, legs are straight and we're lifting your top leg up and down. Very nice. Tummy pulled in and squeeze. I'm still on my left leg. We're gonna do everything on the one side and then everything on the other. Four exercises, three exercises. You, 10 seconds, tummy in. Five, three, two, one. Well done. Coming on to all fours. We're gonna do an angled kick up. So on all fours, right elbow on the floor, left leg out. So I'm in an angled, my left, right arm's on the floor, left hand straight. We're gonna kick up and down. 
Your left leg is out straight. I'm doing everything on my left leg first. Tummy pulled in. You're gonna lift up and down, let's go. So the leg is out straight. If this is very uncomfortable, you can go on both arms. But if you drop that right arm down, it just works a little bit more into the glute. Nice, your hips are open. Both hip bones are not, they don't have to face the floor. You can have your hips open. Leg is out sort of 45 degrees behind. Tummy pulled in, don't arch your back. It's just the leg that's moving. Nice everyone. 15 seconds to go. Squeeze. I feel this in my little saddlebag area, which is great. And five, three, two, one. Very nice. Right, we're gonna do the other side. So we're going back to our mountain climber, right leg in this time, just the right side. Do this on the chair if you need. Okay, we're gonna go in five seconds. Shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. Let's go. Knee to elbow. As you do this, breathe out. We're working the obliques. You want to feel it on your side tummy muscles. Shoulders down and back. And squeeze. 25 seconds. Keep your form. Tummy pulled in away from the floor. Shoulders down and back. Set that scapula. 10. Legs out straight. Keep your legs in one line. Tummy pulled in, we've got five seconds. You're gonna lift up and down. Let's go in three, two, one. What I want you to do is don't lower the legs so low that you lose resistance on the band. Keep that tension and just go up. That's it, so you're never losing tension on that leg. Breathing out, pull that belly button in. Very nice, we've got 20 seconds. Great job guys, you're doing so well. Squeeze, I can feel it here. Tummy in. Five, whew, three, two, one. Well done. Coming on to all fours. You're going to go, left elbow down on the floor, right arm up, L right leg out. I've got the band hooked under my foot. And from here we're going to lift up and down. Let's go. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. Make sure you're not arching your back. All the movement happens from the hips. <sighs> up and down, squeeze. Try and go full range. Make sure you're going all the way up and down. Very nice, 30 seconds. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. <sighs> Good job. Breathing out, pull the shoulder blades down your back. We've got 15 seconds. Tummy pulled in. <sighs> all the way, let's do it. Five. Three. Two, one, well done. Come back into a little child's pose, have a little rest. If you need some water, grab it now. This is our little mini, mini break, sort of. Okay. Right, you're gonna grab your band and put it around your knees. I'm gonna use my thick band now, because it is a little bit more legs just for the next few exercises. So if you've got an option of bands, I would use the thicker band. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into a half side plank with a lift. So we're gonna, from here, knees are bent, shoulders down and back, remember to lift. We're gonna lift up into a clam and down, okay? 
Make sure the band is high enough that you've got mobility and it's not impinging your movement too much. The stronger you are, the lower down it can be. Right, let's go in three, two, one. Breathing out and opening as you lift. This top hand must stay off the floor. Tummy pulled in, have the top hand on your hips if you need. Try not to yaw, that's better. Tummy pulled in and squeeze, feet stay together. Breathing out as, as you lift and open. Lift up from here, make sure you're not sinking in your ribs. 30 seconds, lift and squeeze. Squeeze the bum as you open the knees. Very nice. 20 seconds. Down and up. Good job, we've got 10 more. I'm feeling this today. Five, three, two, one. Well done, come to the other side. Good job, right. Always remember when you're on this arm, that you don't sink into the floor. You want to think of lifting, so you've got a nice triangle from your floor, chest, elbow, if that makes sense. Right, knees bent, feet together, tummy pulled in. Let's go in three, two, one, lifting up and open. Tummy pulled in, squeeze the hips at the top. Nice, up and down. Feet stay together, tummy pulled in. 30 seconds. Squeeze. Very nice, remember to keep up, don't sink. Tummy in. Woo, 20 seconds. Breathing out, pull those abs in. This is a tough one. You got this. 10. Three, two, and one. Well done. Keep the band around the knees. Let's go onto your hands and knees. In this position, shoulders directly over your hands, knees directly under your hips. Tummy pulled in. We're going to go into our fire hydrant. Right leg. Let's go in three, two, one. Up and down. Out to the side, pull the belly button in, keep those shoulder blades down your back and your tummy pulled in all the time. Use that breath to help you. Very good, squeeze. Awesome job. 20 seconds. Tummy in. Nice. 10. Woo, keep going. <laughs> I'm actually talking to myself. I'm motivating myself. Three, two, one. Very nice. Straighten that leg out behind you and then take it 45 degrees out to the side. And we're going to lift up and down. Let's go. Make sure from here that you're not arching your back. You want to make sure you're tucking your bum in, tummy in, just lifting from the hip. Breathing out, squeeze, 20 seconds to go, nice, we've got 10 seconds, you're nearly there, 5, 3, 2, 1, well done, we're going to go to the other side, good job. Right, so on your hands and knees, tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back, let's go, in three, two, one, fire hydrant, leg up and down, make sure that your knees are directly under your hips, hands are directly under your shoulders, so you've got a nice square, what you often see is people's kind of almost in a half plank, and you want to keep that posture. Tummy pulled in. Weight evenly on both hands. 20 seconds, nearly there. If you can, have a little look in your camera. Make sure your back stays flat. Even I have to sometimes look, I find I'm rounding my back. 
So just check your posture out. It's useful having your camera on you as well. Squeeze and rest. Well done. Take your leg out behind you and then 45 degrees out to the side. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. Up and down. Lift. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. Very nice. Making sure you're not arching the back as you go. Weight evenly on both hands. You're literally squeezing from this butt cheek as you lift. Nice. Ten. Squeeze and lift. Three, two, one. Well done. We're going to stay in this position and we're going to do a set of push ups. So, some of you are doing push ups in full. I want you in a full leg straight position. If you're doing modified on your knees, that's perfect. Hands directly under your shoulders. Even if you can give me five full push ups, then go onto your knees. Okay. Let's go in three, two, one. Tummy pulled in, breathing out as you lift. Nice. Let's go for five. If you want to put your knees down, absolutely fine. Tummy in, you legends. We've got ten seconds. Breathing out, tummy pulled in. For five. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Come lie on your back. We're going to go into, keep the band around your knees. We're going to go with your legs up in the air. Similar to what we did earlier. So we're going to do a reverse crunch, but I do want you to actually have a little tuck. So you're lifting the hips up off the floor. So normally I tell you not to swing, but now I want you to swing a little bit. Hips up. You can bend your knees more if you want. Let's go. For those who want to, you can lower your legs a little bit as you go down. Squeeze. Lift the hips. Tummy pulled in. So now you've really got to use the abs to lift the bum. If this is too much, stick with the little reverse crunches. Both work your lower abs. Nice. And lift. Tummy pulled in. Very good. We've got 10 seconds. Nice. Squeeze. Five. Three. Two. One, nice work. We're going to do kick outs with your arms on the floor. If you have a bad back, if this hurts your back, you're going to go into leg swaps. Otherwise, we're doing kick outs. So your hands are resting on the floor. My elbows are bending up and down as I go. Legs off the floor. Kick. If this is uncomfortable, I want you to go into leg swaps. Okay, so that's your other option. All the time, pull your belly button in. Make sure you're not using your back, you're using your abs. Right, let's go. Kick. Tummy pulled in. <sighs> Breathing out. Stretch. Control. Beautiful. Tummy pulled in. <sighs> Always think of that tailbone tucking under. Back pulled in. 15 seconds. Nice. Lean on your hands. We've got five. Three, two, one, and down. Very nice. Keep the band around your thighs. Feet on the floor. Lifting up the hips. We're going to go into marches. So from here, you need to tilt that pelvis. Pull the belly button in. Squeeze your bum. Hands on the floor. We're going to march one leg at a time, alternating. Let's go. You want to push through the heel that's on the floor. Squeeze, nice, slow and controlled. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out as you lift. Nice, tummy in all the time. 
push through the heel that's on the floor to use the glute. Try and keep your hips level. Squeeze. We've got 15 seconds to go. This session is all about our bums and our tongues. That sounded so cheesy. I'm sorry, I apologize. Five. I sound like body beat or something. Three, two, one. Very nice. Lift your right leg up in the air. We're gonna do single leg hip lifts. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Hands by your side, tummy pulled in, let's go. One, two, lift and push to the heel. Three, four, five, tummy in. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, change legs, left leg up in the air. Let's go, one, two, three, squeeze through the heel, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, well done. Keep the band there, hands on either side, legs and tabletop, we're gonna go into our leg swaps. Lift the tailbone, tummy pulled in. We're gonna tap. You wanna hinge from the hip. So from here, push against the band and really hinge from the hip. Make sure it's not just the knees, you push. If you wanna move your band slightly lower to make it a little harder, otherwise that's perfect. Think of lifting that tailbone, pulling the belly button in towards your spine. Breathing out. Make sure you're hinging from the hip. Nice. Squeeze. For 10. All the way. Three, two, one. Well done, very nice. Hands by your side. We're gonna go into another hip lift and open the knees. So let's go in three, two, one, feet on the floor, hands by your side. Pelvic curl and open. Let's go. This is all about the butt. Tummy pulled in. Very nice. Squeeze. Pull the belly button in towards the spine. Good, and pulse. Lift and open. Make sure you're still keeping that belly button connected. Your pelvis is still tilted slightly. You're not letting everything go, you're concentrating. Nice, we've got 15 seconds. Tummy pulled in, squeeze. Awesome. For five, three, two, one. Great job. Right, band around your feet. We're gonna go into our single leg stretch. If you need to change your band, please do. This is quite a hard band to do it with. You've got your thick band and your easier band. Right, I want you to keep your head on the floor. Hands can be behind the head, but your head stays down. Breathing out, you're gonna change. And breathing out, let's change. Tummy pulled in. You're gonna push and pull. That's it. Make sure your low back is glued to the floor. Tummy pulled in the whole time. If you're struggling, lift your feet higher. If you wanna challenge yourself, lift your legs lower. As long as that low back is glued to the floor and your tailbone is tucked under and lifted. We've got 15 seconds to go. Tummy pulled in, squeeze. For five, three, two, one. Well done, hug your knees into your chest. One more exercise, the oblique twist. So now hands behind your head. Breathing out as you lift your head and shoulders, chin on your chest. You're gonna stretch opposite leg, opposite shoulder to knee. Let's go. 
Make sure you're breathing out as you twist. Legs can be as high as you need, as long as your back is glued to the floor. Breathing out as you change. Nice. Tummy pulled in, lift that tailbone. Squeeze. 15 seconds. Nice, 10. Whew. Squeeze. Five. Three, two, one. And relax, well done. Hug those knees into your chest. Rocking side to side. This was an absolute legs and abs class. Well done. Something slightly different. I'm always appreciative of your feedback. Um, it was quite a different class to normal, so very happy for feedback. Right, let's stretch out the glutes. Right ankle over left knee. We're going to pull in that thigh. Stretching out this right butt. Good. Tomorrow's class at lunch will involve weights with arms, I promise. We'll do a Pilates class with weights tomorrow at lunch for those who can make it. Nice, put the left foot down on the ground, keep that right ankle over the knee and pull it across you. So use your left hand to pull that right knee down to the left side. So you're twisting out your lower back. Have that right arm stretched out and look towards your hand if you can. Whew. Nice. Good, bring those knees back up. And let's change sides. Left ankle over right knee. Let's pull that thigh in towards you, stretching out the left glute. Very nice. And stretch, pull it in a little bit more. Good, put the right foot down on the floor. And you're gonna pull the knee towards the right side with your hand. Have your left arm stretched out. Look at your left hand and breathe out. And okay, now. Is it the end of class, big girl? Kayla knows when I'm stretching, it's time for cuddles. Good. And come and sit up. Well done, guys. Thank you. Layla, it was lovely to see you. A surprise appearance. Felix, I'm glad you could make it. Everyone else, you're always very amazing. Laura, Nancy, Barbara, Abby. Mwah. Kayla says goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hello, my baby. Mwah. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no, that was. Hey, something a little bit, something a little bit different. Layla, it's so nice to see you. Yeah, I know it's been too long. Yes. Oh, we'd love to see you. It'd be amazing. It was lovely. We've missed you. Barbara, Abby, yeah. love you lots. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Cheers.